The universe is a really big place, and the chances, the conditions where life may exist, happen in much greater abundance than we originally thought. For centuries, we have looked up to the stars and wondered if we are alone in the universe. But recently, our search for extraterrestrial life has been less about making contact with an alien race and more about searching for some kind of galactic lifeboat. To look for life, scientists used to focus on planets in the Goldilocks zone, a potentially habitable area that's neither too near or too far from their sun. In other words, it's neither too hot or too cold. But when Cassini started to send back data from the systems of Saturn, scientists began to shift their focus from planets to moons. Saturn has 62 confirmed moons, with more being discovered all the time. And two of these moons, Titan and Enceladus, could be habitable. Thanks to Cassini's galactic hitchhiker, a clam-shaped probe called Huygens, we were able to pierce Titan's hazy atmosphere and land on its surface. It's really surprised us. We see dunes. We see these river gullies and channels that have been carved by liquid. But there, that liquid is not water. It's methane and ethane, liquid hydrocarbons that are forming just like on Earth, how we have clouds and rain events. Same thing happens on Titan, but it's with an entirely different set of molecules. So it's a fascinating alien world, and we're just beginning to scratch the surface in terms of how complex it is and exactly what is present there on the surface. But with lakes of liquid methane and a surface temperature of minus 290 degrees Fahrenheit, how could Titan possibly be habitable? Well, to humans, Titan is one of the least hostile places in the outer solar system. It has a dense, planet-like atmosphere, meaning even though it's colder and gets less light than Earth, it has a biochemical makeup that could sustain life. Titan's atmosphere is also quite stable. Except for thunderstorms at the poles, there are no cataclysmic events to worry about, like cyclones, moonquakes, or even cosmic rays. If you lived on Titan, you could stand on its surface with just an oxygen mask and, of course, some very, very warm clothing. But maybe the motivation to colonize Titan isn't necessarily about building Earth 2.0. It might make more sense to think about it as a way station. Titan's got more hydrocarbon reservoirs, like a larger reservoir than all of them on Earth combined. So you need extra gas? Just go to Titan, scoop up some methane, and carry on to find a place where you can survive. It's opening our eyes to the, the breadth and the, the possibilities that exist just in our solar system alone. There is another moon in the Saturn system that scientists are excited about. Enceladus. It's smaller than Titan, about 310 miles in diameter, and underneath its icy crust is an ocean of water. We had no idea that there were liquid water oceans underneath the icy crusts of some of these moons. This is exciting for us because any place on Earth where we find liquid water, we find life every time. Enceladus, not only is it a key astrobiology target because of this liquid water, but it is unique in that that liquid water ocean is accessible. We don't know the exact energy source that keeps its subsurface ocean liquid. Cassini was able to sample the plumes erupting from its surface. It discovered a hydrothermal chemical makeup similar to what occurs in the depths of Earth's oceans. NASA's next missions to icy moons, like Saturn's Enceladus and Jupiter's Europa, will hopefully be equipped with instruments for oceanic studies. Instruments that are directly targeted to look for organic molecules and the key biosignatures of life as we know it, or even life as we don't know it. We'll be looking for patterns in organic molecules that are unique only when life is present. The discoveries that Cassini and spacecraft like Cassini have made will absolutely help us try to eventually become not a one-planet civilization, right? We can't stay here forever. For more science documentaries, check out this one right here. Don't forget to subscribe and keep coming back to Seeker for more videos.